Uh, the first thing on our agenda tonight is just to approve of, uh, some previous minutes. Um, starting from a meeting in February, which actually uh, neither of you were attended, uh, only had uh, Francis and Bill and I. So um, it was uh, the presentation in the highway and fire department budgets. Uh, so we'll have to put on that. Um, we had another meeting on March 2nd that was the presentation, and that was the presentation of elementary school budget from Sunderland Elementary mm -hmm. and Frontier Regional. Um, we didn't take any votes or anything, but uh, right. we were all present. Uh, I believe the notes were, would be included in, uh, in Jeff's notes on the Board of Selectmen. It was also recorded, but if there's, it was all details on all their expenditures, the new leader position, uh, Frontier Regionals was more standard of a budget request, but I don't know. You were all there. I mean, nothing was, was too out of order. So I'm guessing um, I'm, I'm realizing that I'm looking at my notes and I don't have official agendas and I haven't shared those with you. Um, do you want me to just read them to you verbatim or would you like to uh, table that? Or? Well, if you just send them over right now, we can take a quick look. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 While, we're, while we're talking. Yeah, I will share this with you both. Thanks. Actually, that's a very handy tool to have to be able to be doing this. All right, that's the 2nd of March. There were notes I have from the 9th of March. I was the only one present. Uh, it was the Board of Health and Franklin Tech. So that wasn't even a meeting officially because it uh, didn't have quorum. And the final notes, I'll share mine with you again. Um, those would be the 23rd of March, our first uh, meeting with the select board on Zoom. Uh, and that discussed the adaptations we're making, social distancing. So, yeah, it was a straightforward, itemized discussion of the frontier and the central and elementary school budgets. Mm -hmm. Do you want to share the February ones? Because I think we're allowed to vote on them even if we don't. Uh, sure. Because then I could just go, th we'll just have them approved by like a one to two abstention. Vote. Sure. Seems good. Yeah. All right, so if we want to just go in order, or if you want, yeah, you want to take a look at the February 3rd one that I just sent as well. The assessor's office, town clerk's discussion, town clerk's budget was higher because of the voting. There's elections this year. Mm. Mm. Town clerk salary, is that outside of the um, the personnel committee because that's an elected position? Is that how that happens? I don't know. I, I would think so. Jeff? Yeah, I believe that's the second warrant article every year is the Board of Health. Um, they, they're stipend and then the clerks as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, Jeff did want to point uh, out to me that uh, he sent he sent a memo uh, today to all the heads of the the departments that, um, as per states releasing uh, the revenues are projected to be at least three to five percent below previous projections, as we can all expect with mm -hmm. the the current economic situation. Um, so all, all departments have been asked to review the budgets they submitted and um, come up with a revision that, uh, that fits the new reality. So um, is that the um, state budget that'll be three to five percent lower or the state, the local aid will be that much lower? Right. Or is the state gonna like absorb some of the hit? That is part of the question. Uh, it's not clear. Uh, Secretary Heffernan, Secretary for ANF, is supposed to brief Ways and Means next week and give an updated projection. Uh, and then we anticipate that the governor is going to revise their budget. Excuse me, budget. Um, and it's not clear whether they're going to dip into the rainy day fund, how much, um, whether they're going to fully fund local aid, school aid. So I think this is just, uh, we're trying to get ahead of the curve yep. on this and, and okay. prepare for sort of across the board cuts. Perfect, okay. But that being said, this was taken, these notes were all taken on the, the previous uh, presentations. I imagine some of the salary increases are, are gonna be the first things that people are going to I uh, want to bring down, I know uh, several of the salary increases across the board were, um, they were looking at the, the survey that we had done and they were pushing towards the higher ends of what the towns were, were had projected as would be, you know, competitive with local towns. So my guess is that my guess is when, uh, honestly, when I first heard most of them, I, I just imagined they were aiming for the most and I had thought perhaps there would be room for negotiation there in terms of, you know, maybe bringing it down a little bit, but especially given the circumstances, that's going to be something that I think people will review. Yeah. PD had a, police had a had a lot of notes in terms of uh, their capital requests and presenting kind of the issues of you know what they do in the town and what uh, what's going on so far. Okay. So on the notes, do I have uh, any mode? Any motions on the notes for the 3rd of February? I move to approve. I have a second. Okay. Do I have a vote too? Well, we can abstain is just a motion to vote. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, because uh, so we're the third, I was not there. Yep. I, I was the only one that was there. Okay. So I'm the only one that can vote on that. So it would. But Would do you we second have, the motion? Is the question? Right. Oh, yeah, I thought Elliot did. Sorry. Yeah, I'll second the motion to approve. Right, thanks. Uh, all of those in favor? Aye. Uh, two abstentions. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm taking notes on this one as well. So I'm trying to catch up with that at the same time. All right, February 3rd. Uh, March 2nd, the school committee. Do I have a motion on that? Uh, motion to approve. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that's March 2nd is 3-0. Yep. Thank you very much. Do I have a motion on the 23rd of March meeting from- that's The Zoom one? That's correct. Yeah. Uh, move to approve. I'll second. All those in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Three O. Yay, it's unanimous. Okay. Just a procedural note. Um, the select board adopted the when they're voting to raise their hand so there's a visual cue. That's I don't, true. You don't have to do that, I don't think. Um, there's audio, uh, there's video of all three of you, but I did just want to mention it. Okay, so that is a, an important point. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep that in mind for the future. We'll make a note of that. Okay. Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, okay. Since the the March 10th meeting uh, was only myself, uh, there wasn't quorum, so there's no notes to approve of that, if I'm not mistaken. So okay. that concludes. Uh, all votes require and raising uh, the warrant articles. Were there any, the, our next item is the, the warrant articles that were discussed. Uh, I just wanted to discuss if anyone had any other specific questions on any of the items of the draft warrant articles uh, that had been presented at the March 23rd meeting. Frustrating thing is that I remembered I had one or a, a small question on what one of them was, but I can't remember it offhand. Do you uh, do you have you have your own copies, right? Do you have them open? I'm trying to pull them up now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just got mine open. Um, do you know what day they were sent so I can search for it? Uh, yeah, March 23rd. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, it was actually, it was in the middle of a thread because they weren't uh, included. I, yeah, I remember Alex asking to send out a draft. Yeah, the subject line is documents and info for Monday. I can also forward it if that's faster. Yeah, I might have deleted it if you don't mind. <laughs> sure. I can also pull it up in a screen share if that would be helpful. Yeah, good point. Like if you guys read at different speeds, it might be easier to do it individually, however you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for something specific that I had a question on. It was toward the end, but it's not one of the consent articles. It was... Right. So I forwarded it, but I think it's on like a minute delay for the undo button. Oh, good point. Right. I forgot about that. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Jeff, what's the deadline for these? What do you, uh, can you clarify? You mean the deadline for approving? Yeah. The warrant? Well, that's a good question. Um, I think it's, I want to say it's 10 or 20 days before town meeting. Town meeting was postponed mm -hmm. um, to June 5th. So okay. that would be end of May. Uh, the warrant was closed for additional items, but the select board can. Um, you know, still amend or remove. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah, you know, I'm just trying to figure out whether it makes sense for us to do the recommendations with so much of the state aid still up yeah. in the air. Yeah, I think that I agree. The, we're not, yeah, we're definitely not ready to make recommendations. Yeah. Um, there was a specific question that I'd had that I'll have to look, look at them again uh, in more detail to, to try to jog my memory. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, there is, dang it, there is one. One more, I apologize. There's one more of the uh, previous meetings that I'd like to send out. Um, if you, no one else has any questions on the warrant items, no. So we'll, we'll no, I don't. Uh, leave that, we'll table that for, for future pending uh, announcement of what our aid numbers are, if there's a more accurate, okay. if we find out more detailed numbers. I imagine you, you all saw today's, it was like six and a half, 6.6 6 million new unemployment claims for this week. Um, yeah, we're was, over 10 million now. Yeah. It's insane. I asked, uh, we were on the phone with, uh, with Natalie Blay this morning um, we don't, they don't have a breakdown by like county or, or area, but I imagine some areas of Sunderland are probably going to get hit pretty hard with unemployment. But I imagine since our, I don't know how, how hard that's going to hit, if that's going to hit our revenue as much in terms of our town revenue, because so much of our, our revenue comes from property. Right. Like, I mean, the sales are definitely going to go down, but I think I mean, even what sales we do have are, I imagine a big chunk of the sales that happen in Sunderland are just food and liquor from the stores, right? Mm -hmm. But still, it's, it's important to keep in mind as, as we're, we're going ahead. Um, so if no one has uh, any objections, I will uh, share this last, um, Uh, section of notes that I have uh, should be coming through. Uh, it was from the the highway and fire department meeting. Okay. And again, neither of you were there. We did have quorum. Uh, Bill and Francis were both there. Oh, it looks uh, like there it says you approved the February third. Is that the first oh, one we voted on today? We did then. Oh, yeah, I missed that. <laughs> right. I saw that too. <laughs> Thanks. Oops. Well, yeah. that's a, yeah. Now that takes precedence that, over this one. Yeah, yeah, especially since they were there, so that will be effective. <laughs> um, I know these haven't been. I'm fairly certain these haven't been uh, approved. Yeah. So this was. A highway again is the standard pushover of uh, of the the actual. We didn't discuss the snow and ice almost at all. Um, their capital requests were were kind of a bigger um, discussion about the the culverts and the uh, ditch committee. A little bit of a reference there. The fire department switching a whole bunch. Yeah, the fire department's mm -hmm. huge capital increase for the uh, air packs. It's pretty it's kind of an important thing for rushing into burning buildings, but they're not cheap. For snow and ice, they stayed on budget or under budget this year, right? I thought so but they they the request was there and again in in for the uh the overrun but yeah really but wasn't that was one of the war articles wasn't it or am i getting the requested before the deficit spending i think it was I can look it up if you are the exact numbers. I recall it was ten thousand for materials, and I want to say fifteen for labor. Um, but I can confirm that. 
Like for the winter we just had or Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I I didn't feel like we had much snow this winter. No, we certainly didn't. I mean they were they were definitely preventive on a couple of the ones that could have been bad. Um they got ahead of all the icing problems. And then we had that one giant dump that I think must have taken a while to clear out. Yeah, in December we had the huge one, was, December yeah, 1st. December 1st. But that was really the only one. Well, that was major a major hit. Yeah, that was the only yeah. major one. Several days where there was, you know, morning stuff that I'm sure needed salting, but. Yeah, that's surprising. Snow and I, yeah. So Article 19, if so, raise an appropriate transfer of funds to the FY20 snow and ice deficit or take any votes in relation there to. So it doesn't have the specific amount, but. Right. So it would be. Um, Yeah, I think it, uh, I think I flipped the two. Um, Fifteen in uh, in materials and ten in wages. So it, it'll probably be twenty-five for that one. Well, in any event, uh, these were the questions that were discussed at that meeting, I think. We can go back to um, chapter 90 funds, so more money from Department of Revenue. Yeah, the fire department was the main one that I remember had a, a whole lot of detailed information on. The PD spent more time discussing the radio system that is in theory going to be, have the full upgrade, but the uh, scuba tanks were the main question so again i know neither of you were there but to have for the sake of of having these approved as official minutes i move to approve second all right all those in favor aye do you want to do hands say again do you want to do the hands yeah, I was oh, like, wait, yes. no, how do I second no, with my hand? I, I'm in favor. <laughs> oh, did I close? I just closed my stupid. Uh, right, and abstain. Yep. So that will be 10 February 2021. Mm -hmm. All right, um, the, the main other question really, the final question on the agenda was, was changes that, you know, discussion of, of the main question that we sort of addressed already of the fact that the economy appears to be in free fall and uh, we're going to have to make significant adjustments if we want to, as, as Jeff has been saying, if we want to stay ahead of, of the major shortfalls that we're likely to have if we have the, the departments have the budgets that they, they were proposing. Even when we, even without uh, a drop in revenue, I, I felt that the the amount that the budget was going up 
was still it was still was 5.4 or something yeah. uh, increase of the year before which is the, i just even without the 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 virus i don't there's no way i don't think we could convince the town to vote for an override again maybe we could i don't know i i know the point it's important that the point is made that the 2.5 especially in today's day and age when this, when a lot of contractual numbers go up much higher, but 2.5 is the number that we have and that's the number that we, we have to go over and request assistance for. And the elementary school, though they were able to rearrange things, were still going up they still, they had brought theirs down to 4.6, I think, but I don't know how, I don't know how we would be able to, to figure out, five, you know, five point, I think, what was it, 5.9? And are they all still doing payroll right now? Is everybody? Yeah, as, okay, I'm sure. As far as I know, I'm, I mean, I know, Gil Montague is, and I, I'm fairly certain that all of the, the, the notice I remember receiving was that at least, it may depend on the district, but my district is getting uh, at least through our first initial cutoff, which was gonna be April uh, 3rd, I believe was our first, but things, you know, things have changed and as I understand it it's especially since all of the the all of the different schools are being required to have some kind of distance learning presence it's it varies from school to school but sure. the teachers are all we're all putting stuff up and giving opportunities for learning um, the main the main issues that have come up are, are accessibility for a lot of students. Right. Um, so like at best, we're just saving like a couple bucks on a light bulb here or there being off. Uh, yeah, I mean, I and I don't know what percent is hourly off the top of my head, but I'm assuming maintenance and, you know, any type of those uh, occupancy type costs that are on an hourly basis, but that's got to be a really small amount. I don't know. I think that I know support staff at Gil Montague were getting full pay as well. So they're like support staff, like paras and stuff. And sure, sure. I don't know. And and, and they're working. Same same with uh, food services. They're working. They're providing meals, even though the students aren't in school. So school is still happening. Just looks yeah. a lot different. Well, I don't, I don't know what the IAs are doing as much. Um, what this, mm -hmm. like the, the ones that aren't like food service and maintenance are going in and doing, doing work. Yeah. Their, their hours are probably getting cut, but. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's a, it's a, it's a, the school budget in, in Sunderland has been a real rock and a hard place issue because. Yeah. They had they had significant expenses, like they had the boiler explode over the summer that they needed like an emergency fix for, or actually I don't, I don't remember if that was even in the summer, if it was like on a weekend or something, but they had a huge expense for that. It was like 20,000 they've had, and they have the, all of the siding stuff in the bottom of the, the building. But I, I, I mean, I'm guessing that since everything is being delayed until June anyway, we are just going to have to, to wait. Yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking like if they're not having any savings this year from, from all this, then the only way they're going to get more money is with an override, which just isn't going to happen in this economic climate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Agree. So they'll have to trim the budget like everybody else. Yeah, this is gonna hurt this year. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Well, 
I guess uh, we're going to be pending the uh, we're going to be keep having to to keep up pretty regularly with the updates of from coming from state, but okay. pending new major changes, I don't see. It, it sounds like communication is happening though. Yeah. That we're we're staying in touch with representatives, and then we're also passing it down to our departments that be prepared to cut your budget. Yeah. We're even though we don't know the number, we are expecting it to happen. Yeah. So. And at least I think it's, we can be grateful that we're living in a time where we have much more advanced communications technology that we can sure. continue our government meetings and these things can continue. But mm -hmm. I still imagine it's small consolation for 10 million people right now, but. Well, I don't know if anybody else has anything else that they wanted to add to the agenda. Any other questions? No. Yeah, too much up in the air right now to have, I think, a useful discussion about yeah. any which way. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Do I have any other motions? Do I adjourn? adjourn? Second. All in favor? All right, thank you all very much for for tuning in. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you very much, Jeff, for uh, and um, FCAP for facilitating this and uh, helping me through. And um, keep your eyes on your email. We'll uh, have our next meeting soon enough. <laughs>